everybody welcome back to my keto mukbang look at this I am going to just explode I don't know if I'm gonna be able to eat this guys uh, let me give you a rundown of what I got if you watched my video before this you saw everything that I prepped let me start off by saying water mm. okay right here I have my Mexi pizza that I made Mexi pizza Nice and toasty on the back. I got some of the holy guacamole minis. I have some sour cream, daisy sour cream. Right here, I've made my Southwest salad that I always make, but this time, I added some grilled onions and some grilled peppers and some, what are these things called? Uh, steak of meat. So this one here equaled out to three. I cooked six, but it's I only put three on it. So, plus the other, Ingredients I have in here are the French's crunchy onions, French's crunchy jalapenos, pico, cheddar cheese, lettuce, and Southwest dressing. And this is the salad for this. Right here, I showed making some of the hard shell tacos made from cheddar cheese. I left this one flat so I could do a tostada. Right here I have some diced tomato. I'm not gonna use them all, they're just for presentation. I have some diced onion. I have some ground beef. Just seasoned salt, pepper, garlic. And right here I have my homemade taco sauce and some green pepper, lettuce, green peppers, and some mozzarella cheese. I should have got a little plate. Hold on. Okay guys, I'm back. With the sidekick, there's no room for that right there, but I'll hold it when I get ready to do this. Let me give her a little piece of meat. Want some? Take it. All right, guys. Yay! I made it almost seven days. The first six days, I had black coffee. I had my electrolyte water, quit sniffing me you weirdo, <laughs> and regular water. Yesterday I had two cups of black coffee in the morning and nothing from till just right now when I took a couple sips of water and the um, broth that I had to get my digestive system prepared for the majority of this. My weight this morning was an all-time low. I believe it was 176 even. Nala, quit smelling. It's kind of, it was very distracting. Anyway, yeah, 176. So when I started my fast, I was 186.4, I believe. So I dropped over 10 pounds of what I believe was fluid weight, inflammation weight, possibly a lot of food weight, so I dropped that down. This obviously is going to add a little bit of weight to me. I'm not worried about it because I'm going to jump right back into my 72s and 48s. News, my daughter is, and guys, if you don't want to hear this, skip forward a couple of seconds, but us women who have had babies know this. She's getting her membrane scraped. This dog, stop sniffing on me. Uh, and if she doesn't go into labor on her own, Friday they're inducing her. So Thursday, I'm driving to D.C. to be with her. So I'll be there Friday to go on base with her to um, be induced. Let's get started. I got to get started in this salad. Holy cow. This looks so good. Uh, I do have a topic I want to talk about. Look at that, guys. Um, first, I just wanted to say Happy New Year to everybody. And second, let the diet wars begin. <laughs> Let me put a little bit of my guac on there, a little bit of sour cream on there. Mm. So 
Okay. Nutrisystem Weight Watchers. Hell, even the other day on the South Beach diet, they mentioned keto. They mentioned keto on the South, uh, South Beach diet. I even saw a keto commercial for a keto product. Incredible. Incredible. Anyway. Um. Oh, stop. <laughs> oh, I saw uh, somebody mention the other day something about keto products. I think this is, I mean, this is a really slippery slope we're getting into. I'm adding some beef to this. Little bit of onion. Little bit of tomato. Couple of slices of green pepper. Ooh, some tomatoes fell out. A little bit of lettuce. See so far, guys? Yummy. Put some mozzarella cheese. And some of my salsa. I like mozzarella cheese on my tacos. Some people prefer like the cheddar cheese. I am definitely going to need my plate for this. Listen for the crunch, guys. Mm. It crumbles. <laughs> Just like a real one. I'm going to do my best to eat slow because I don't want to overwhelm my digestive system. Stop. Stop. Can y'all see her sitting like a freaking gopher? Hmm. <laughs> Just like a real one. <laughs> um, I only have one concern with uh, keto now being in the mainstream. When I started almost four years ago, people said, keto, what's that? You mention it now and everybody knows. Everybody. So, my concern is that it's going to be so politicized. Or even like overdone, like Weight Watchers and Nutrisystem, that people are going to be like, oh, it didn't work for me. But people are doing modified keto. There's no modified keto. If you're modifying keto, then it's just Atkins. Like, and I, I hate to be the keto police because I hate the keto police I really do hmm. and I never want to be that person but my my issue is that people are going to hear modified keto and change it up so drastically that normal keto isn't even recognizable. And people may stray from that. And really, <clears throat> I don't know, demonize keto? Not that it isn't being demonized now. It really is being demonized now. So, I mean, what do you do? You stay true to keto, which is high fat, Moderate protein, low carb. That is the definition of keto, ketogenic. If you're doing a, a higher protein and say even equal amounts of protein, equal amounts of fat, that's Atkins. That's low carb. That's not keto. Sorry, it's not. Look up the definition of keto.
I don't know what the counts are here. I weighed out everything only because I wanted to make sure I was getting precise amounts. I am positive that if I ate this whole thing, my carb count would be over. These tortilla uh, things alone are six net grams. So I know that I'm over. Those things in here, I know that I'm going over. I know this. But I'm okay with it. This is so freaking good. And the dog. You're killing me. You're crazy. So that was my only concern. With. Um, especially when you start the new year. And all these new diet programs are popping up. My goodness. The other day I think I saw. <clears throat> Six, some kind of, five or six weight loss programs right back to back commercials. I was like, oh gosh, let the marketing begin. It was insane. Thank you guys. I'm all crumbled up. I'm not going to make this one too awful long. I just wanted to let you guys see. What I'm using to break my fast, I'm, it is oh so good, Nalastaha. Mmm. You can enjoy Mexican food without the tortillas. Although, you know, they're pretty good when you eat them. Ooh, that salsa is hot. Let me give you guys a big close-up. Oh, drop some more. I love this salad. Let me eat this. I probably only do like a 20 minute mukbang. I appreciate all you guys um, weighing in and let me know how you felt about the mukbangs because I know some people don't don't really enjoy it. I do. I get lots of ideas from watching mukbangers. How to ketify stuff. I can't buy anything. Try anyway. So I'm super excited about 2019. How were you guys New Year's Eve? Ours was pretty uneventful. We didn't go anywhere. I don't. I don't typically do that anymore. I'm. I'll be 49 in seven months. I don't go anywhere anymore. Mexi pizza. Oh, what I put on this, if you guys didn't watch my video before, I used the Taco Bell. I used Hot and Two Diablo, which are zero uh, carbs in those. <coughs> Woo! Excuse me. I used some of the ground beef, some pico, some um, cheddar cheese. And I think that's it. And now I'm eating it with some guacamole and sour cream. And it's fan freaking tastic. Everything must taste really good to me because I haven't eaten in nearly seven days. Here, let me move this over so you guys can see this a little better. Here we go. That's super good. And the dog loves these low carb tortillas. She's crazy. Are you crazy? You want to come up here and show the YouTubers can see you? Hmm? Also, I'm super excited to be a Grammy next weekend or this coming weekend. Provided. Oh, look, look. Provided she goes into labor. Hell, if they induce her, she'll go into labor. I was induced with my first child. That was hell. Let me tell you. 
I said, never again. I'll do this shit on my own. I'll make sure. <laughs> I'll wait. <laughs> I got no problem waiting. Being induced was awful. So, maybe after they scrape her membrane Wednesday, her water will break on its own. <clears throat> And she'll go into labor on her own. That's the hope. So they don't have to induce her. So. Let's hope. Do I want another taco? I'm getting super stuffed already, you guys. Mm. That might be the beauty of not eating for so many days. Your stomach just... Shrinks right down. You guys see me doing all this? Uh, some tomato. Couple slices. Green pepper. A little bit of lettuce. Cheese. Isn't this amazing, you guys, how we can eat like this? I mean, I guess it would be like vegans trying to copy real meat <laughs> let's make fake meat let's make fake taco bell <laughs> fake mexican food <laughs> i guess i mean it's the same thing isn't it i mean i guess i could I, I always was thinking you know vegans want to be vegan so bad why are they trying to recreate meat just eat meat <laughs> you know but then I think, why are we recreating stuff? It's because this is this is a choice that we've made how to eat. So, I mean, I like Taco Bell. I like Mexican food. This is my version of recreating it. So, mm -hmm. Look at that, guys. I did sprinkle a little bit of taco seasoning on the cheese when I baked them, just to give it a little bit more. Cause I don't like to season my meat with like, like the uh, old El Paso seasoning. I never like that. I just like straight hamburger, salt, pepper, garlic. That's what I grew up eating. Mmm. <laughs> That's her behind me. What do you smell? Hmm? What do you smell? You want some meat? Mm. Ooh, that salsa is spicy. Ew. <laughs> she just burped. Did y'all hear that? Quite warm today, you guys. It's like almost 70 here today. The last few days it's been rain and cold. This weather is bipolar. No offense to people who are bipolar. But it doesn't know what it wants to do. <laughs> My gosh, it's so nice to have that crunch. All right, I'm up 17 minutes. Well, this time around is 17. I'm probably closer to 20. But. <laughs> the peppers in that is making my nose run. I don't think I'm going to be able to do that toast out of you guys. Pretty confident I'm not going to be able to. Let me move this up so you guys can see. Maybe the hubby will eat it. Ah. I know I'm going to eat this last pizza. Piece of Mexi pizza. There it is without the guacamole and the sour cream.
my stomach just said, right? <laughs> I was like, what the hell? What the hell is coming? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Good, baby. So if you guys made any goals for 2019, my goal, number one, stay cancer free. Pretty sure I got another CT scan at some point this month. I'll have to find it. Or I'm sure they'll call a couple days ahead of time. Second goal, lose this last stubborn 10 pounds. I think I can do it. I can do it. I started the year at 194. I'm ending the year at 175. Oh, 176. Sorry, that's 18 pounds. So, yeah. 18? Yeah, 18 pounds. So I did pretty good this year, but that's never been my goal. Ah, my nose is wrong. Um, it's always been to stay cancer free. Or in remission, I should say. No cancer present, meaning free. Okay. Oh, you guys, I can't take any more. I'll put all this up. Maybe finish the salad. And that'll do it for me. You guys, I may come in tomorrow. And show you the last meal I'm going to have before my next 72. Happy New Year, everybody. I'm so excited. 2019 is going to be fantastic. I started using activated charcoal on my teeth. Try to get some of these surface stains off. So, so far, so good. All right, guys, I love you so much. Thank you for coming in and joining me on my mukbang. Go ahead and try everything. It's so amazing if you're missing Mexican food. And if you're new to my channel, everybody go ahead and subscribe. Hit that big thumbs up. And I will see you in my next mukbang. Have a fantastic day, guys.